All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, let's see how it goes for here tonight, especially early on in this fight when the emotions figure to be at their highest. She is trying to become a two-division UFC champion and the first woman to do so in UFC history. Absolutely remarkable what she's accomplished up to this point, but now the tasks get tougher. Let's see if she can beat the bigger woman here tonight. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. Well, she said she was going to go to the takedown early, and she goes right to it, and it's there. So a good sign that she's able to get this fight to the ground where she wants. She said when and where she decides she was going to be able to secure takedown. She does exactly that very early in the first round. And they separate. Beautiful punch. Nice head kick. Just over three minutes now to go. That's a beautiful jab by her there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. If you fight behind such a beautiful jab, eventually you drop the right hand. Good night. Good jab. Again, back into this position. Oh, that kick is good by Valentina Shevchenko. Oh, oh. big knee. <laughs> and the left kick there with conviction. Oh, and again, another big knee. She's never looked better. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Taken down by Shevchenko. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. In full guard now, DC, and I know when you're in this position, you're looking to pass the half guard pretty quick. Oh, absolutely, trying to get the half guard so I can start to get off ground and pound. This is exactly what she needs to do. Not only does it get you to a position to get off ground and pound, it also takes a lot of the danger away right. from your opponent off of their back. Half guard is not nearly as dangerous as full guard, so get the half, land some ground and pound, get posture, and then continue to dominate on the ground. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Shevchenko. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill. Here we are, early round two. Liver kick. Goes right back to that left kick and lands. Shevchenko gets caught with that punch. Oh, the right hand is there for her. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Shevchenko gets hit with a kick. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is nice on point. directly into the finish. Nice take -off. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish it. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot to the top. Three minutes remain in the round. All right, she's got her in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the bottom fighter, nothing advantageous about it. It's not a good position to be in when you're in the bottom position. You have gotta try to force some sort of improvement. You gotta force some sort of action that will allow you 
to return to your feet. It's very tough. It's very difficult. But if you're patient, there will be an out presented to you at some point. Oh, good series of knees by her there. I'm not sure how many more her opponent's going to be able to. Another beautiful takedown land. You get up, you go down as another takedown attempt land. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up from the top from that beautiful half guard position. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Shevchenko. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Valentina Shevchenko. Good, solid strike on the ground. Championship fight. Let's go. Oh, beautifully done there. She lands another strike to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Visibly limping here. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Shevchenko gets hit with a kick. Lands the right hand. Real sneaky body kick. Oh! Shevchenko's got the tie clinch now. She, she is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Position now, DC, if you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to escape? If I'm the bottom fighter, she needs to try and force the top fighter to make an action to create some sort of sequence that will allow her to start defending. Because the moment you're on the bottom there, you're just kind of waiting, right? You're fighting with your hands, trying to grasp onto something that will allow you to get up. It's a very difficult defensive position, but it's not impossible. There are many, many ways for you to get back up to your feet. Big bruise starting on the right side of her body, not good. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. It's just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Gets up again here, but hurting. That knee might have landed there. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score. Okay, you're going to need to relax a okay? You're getting too wild out there. Relax, slow it down. You're getting sloppy out there. 
All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within... Oh, that's a big shot. She's going to close the show here. She landed that strike perfect. She was looking for it, and she found the moment where it landed. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Her opponent had to know these elbows would be coming, but maybe not with this type of volume and accuracy. You think elbows may come, and they may be one at a time. Time. But she's born of a combination. Shanko, get caught. Oh! Oh, big left. Now goes in and secures the takedown. She is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Just over three minutes to go. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and here's your evidence. Outstanding movement on the ground. She looks like a master of grappling with the great movement that she's showing on the ground. Gets up again here, but her, oh, trips her to the ground. Nice level change there. And this is where she's good. Once she's on top is where she's a beast. She's got some good ground and pound and putting that part of her game to good use tonight. She's putting it to great use, just really damaging from the top position. Oh, nice strike on the ground for her. Shevchenko's bruise on her body is looking really bad at this point in time. You know she's tough enough to fight through it, but that is gonna hurt big time in the morning. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Staying busy off of her back. Shevchenko gets touched, and once again, it's that elbow. That has been there all night. Defense has got to be better. 